Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm testing a new SSD from ADATA. This is their SP550, two and a half inch SATA solid state drive, 480 gigabytes in capacity, and this is suitable for both internal installations and of course, external applications as well. And I'm always looking for really good solutions to editing video on external hard drives. So this SSD should prove very, very useful indeed. I'm gonna be using this with an Inertec enclosure this is the Inertec FE2010. It's a USB 3, two and a half inch portable hard drive enclosure. And of course, this is suitable for use with a solid state drive as well. So let's actually open this up. We've got the back panel here, which we can slide off. And then inside, we've got the connector in there for the solid state drive. So let's pop this into place. Very, very easy to install. And this is the sort of thing I really like because if I'm editing video or storing photos on devices like this, it's got to be nice and easy to install and swap drives out. So let's just pop this uh, case back on. And we're gonna connect this via USB 3. There is a cable supplied inside the box with the enclosure, like so. And turn this on. When we turn it on, there is a little LED light comes on as well. So I'm gonna be testing the speed of this with Blackmagic Design's disk speed test application. This is a free application in the Mac App Store. And we're gonna click Start. Now this is connected via USB 3 and straight away, I'm really pleased with that. We've got a write speed of 304 megabytes per second and a read speed of 357 megabytes per second. And on the second round, we're sort of peaking out around about 284.9 on the right and 356 megabytes per second on the read. That is a fantastic result. This is gonna be good enough for editing 4K video and also 2.7K video as well. So the ADATA SP550 solid state drive performs really well inside this external enclosure. Now don't forget, if you install this internally, you are gonna get faster speeds around about the 500 megabytes per second mark. So if you're looking for an external solution for video editing, this is well worth checking out. I'll leave links to both of these products in the video description. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again in another video very soon on the Geekanoids channel.